Zoe. Note to stay. <laughs> Something like yeah. close to that, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, no. Stop doing that. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys, and welcome to my production journal, the show where you get to see my week... What? This is week three, even though it's kind of late, I'm sorry about that. This week we auditioned a dog. Oh! Oh! Zoe! She doesn't trust, she doesn't trust that thing. Trust that thing. Zoe. Zoe! Zoe! Come here. Come here. Stay. There we go. She was very friendly, totally cool with people, and was able to take commands and get up on that table, which is perfect um, for the film. She was even able to howl on command, which was amazing. She did get spooked when that green screen almost fell on her. After that, it was a little bit difficult to get her back on the table at first and because she was so hesitant, which is totally understandable, but um, that's, that's just part of working with animals, you know. But she seems great for the part. Alright, as promised, we also got to check out the Sony FS5 last week, so here's a little bit of that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Or like the FS7, just in a tiny body. It's the baby brother yeah. of the FS7. Alright. Sick. Yeah. <laughs> and finally, I've began my attempt at modeling the entire Mars Spirit slash Opportunity rover from scratch, and I'm learning a lot along the way in Cinema 4D. Um, I, a lot of times I run into roadblocks where I have to model a part that I don't know the technique to create that, so I have to look up a YouTube tutorial and learn, but it's it's been great, and I've been I've been uploading my progress on Instagram um, as I go, and hopefully next week I'll be uploading a little animation once it's finished of the finished rover, just so you can see what it looks like with the camera motion and everything. Another thing is I definitely will not be finishing this film by April 7th, which is what I originally said in the first video, and that's just because I've quickly realized the scope of this project is way bigger than I originally thought it was. Um, it sounds like such a simple idea on paper, just an asteroid going from space to Earth, but really to make that happen and make it look really good, it takes a lot of time, just because all of the visual effects that need to be done and coordinating people, and that's okay because I want to take the time to make this as good as it could possibly be. So it's going to take a little bit longer, but in the end it'll totally be worth it. Thank you for watching if you made it to the end. Um, next week hopefully you'll get to see an animation of that Mars rover once it's finished. And uh, until next time, see you guys.